guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. I should probably have said ciao guys because today I'm going to be teaching you some more Italian. I was checking out that video and in terms of views to likes and comments, you guys have given me quite a few thumbs up and encouraging comments letting me know that you do want to see more videos where I teach you guys Italian. So I'm really excited about that. I actually uh, have a passion for Italy and for the Italian language and I mean I could even learn some more myself so today I thought that I would teach you guys some popular or common travel inspired words and even some phrases because if you're learning Italian you also probably want to know how to get by in terms of your travels so some key words to remember while traveling to another country and yeah without talking too much which I can sometimes do let's just get right into it here are some popular or important travel words and phrases phrases that you should know when visiting Italy. So first things first, I will go over some basic words and then I will probably help you put them into a sentence. But let's start with the basics when you're traveling to another country. So let's start with airport. How you say airport in Italian is aeroporto. Aeroporto. And then if you have to say the airport, it's L'aeroporto, so an L hyphenated aeroporto. Because if you're asking where something is, I taught you guys how to say where. Where is dove? And if you're saying where is something, it's dove l'aeroporto. So that is how you say where is the airport. Dove l'aeroporto di Fiumicino. So that is just an example. So again, airport is aeroporto. Next is station, or really the train station, is mainly known as stazione. Stazione. You can say the station, la stazione. So basically, station, stazione. Three syllables, stazione. If you would like to know how to say train, it is simple enough because some words in Italian I find sound like the English word. So train is treno. Treno. Very simple, train, treno. You can almost see how this word would be what it is in Italian as it is in English. Next, car is macchina. Car, macchina, macchina, la macchina. Usually if a word in Italian ends in an A, it is feminine, so you would put la in front of it, la macchina. For example, train, which was masculine because it's treno, is il treno. So that is just how you can figure out how to phrase things and where you put the masculine and feminine intonations and things like that. So again, macchina is car. If you're staying at a hotel, you'll need to know how to say that. Where is the hotel? Dove l'albergo? How you say hotel is albergo. Albergo is hotel. BNB is BNB, <laughs> so of course that's just universal, but hotel, very different, albergo, 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 the hotel, l'albergo. Next, luggage. Luggage, if you're seeing a sign usually at the airport, it will say bagagli. Bagagli is luggage. Bagagli. Kind of a hard word to pronounce because the G-L-I is like Yi bagagli. Like I said in my last video, Italian is a very musical language, so you almost have to try to, you know, musically say some words, and that is one of them. Bagagli, luggage. Next, another B word is ticket, and that is how you say biglietto. So ticket is biglietto. Your biglietto for the train station, the metro station, airport, your biglietto. Biglietto is ticket. The bank, if you need to know where the bank is or you want to keep an eye out for the bank, it will usually say banca, la banca, the bank. Banca is bank and very similar to that, an ATM would be bancomat. Bancomat, one word, is ATM, banca is bank. Another B word, a lot of B words is bathroom, in this case bagno. Bagno, bathroom, bagno. So if you had to say in Italian, it is a masculine word, you would say, where's the bathroom? Dove il bagno, il bagno. Dove il bagno, where is the bathroom? 
Street, this is a very important one because if you're probably giving directions to a cab driver, you would explain where your street is and it's always usually a via. Via is street. So for example, dove via del governo vecchio? Where is via? So it's good to keep an eye out for that. Via is street. The metro or the subway is literally called a metro in Italian or metropolitana, but that's quite long. You can just ask dove il metro? Where is the subway station? So I kept saying dove because I feel like you're going to be asking where for these certain things. Where's the airport? Where's the station? Dove literally means where or where is. Dove blank. Dove il bagno? Where is the bathroom? Dove la banca? Where is the bank? So quite simple. Dove, where is, is very good to understand and learn how to put into phrase with all of these new travel inspired words that I've taught you guys. Those were some basic travel inspired words. These ones are going to specifically be for directions. So when asking for directions, you might ask or you might hear someone give you directions indicating where to go. Pay attention because these words can come in handy, especially when you're lost. I know that we are always using our GPS. GPS, but sometimes in Italy GPS just doesn't work. I often remember being in Venice and in the little vicolis or vias, the little streets of Venice, sometimes the GPS would just guide you in a completely different way. So it is good to learn how to ask for directions and learn to hear what does right and left mean because they're quite different words. So right, how do you say right in Italian, going right? Right is destra, destra is right. right destra, right destra. Someone might say to you, gira a destra. It literally means go right. Gira a destra, go right. Gira a destra, go right. How do you say left? Sinistra, left is sinistra. Sinistra, left, destra, right. Gira a sinistra, go left. Gira a destra, go right. Gira literally means go, you know, turn left, turn right. So gira a destra, right, gira a sinistra, left. Someone might also say to you, dritto. I know that this is sort of a joke with my sisters and I because I remember asking for directions and they simply always said dritto, vai dritto, sempre dritto. So dritto literally means straight straight, sempre dritto, always straight, always straight. That is a very common phrase in Italian. You'll probably be hearing that, va dritto, va dritto, go straight. So that is very common in Italian. Va dritto, se, è sempre dritto, it's always straight. Dritto, straight. Destra, right, sinistra, left. Now, you might be asking for directions and someone might be telling you if something is super close, so it's near, you can walk, or if it's really far and you might have to take a taxi. Taxi, universal, taxi is taxi, that's why I didn't include it. So basically, if you're going somewhere and something is really close, you would say vicino, vicino. That means it's very nearby. Near is vicino, 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 near. Far, lontano, very far, e molto lontano, it's very far. Molto means very, so e molto vicino, it's very close, e molto lontano, it's very far. E lontano, it's far, lontano. Before you even ask for these directions, something that you can say to get someone's attention is scusa. Scusa literally means excuse me. It's a little bit informal, but it is one word, so it's easy to remember. Scusa, scusa, scusa just basically means excuse me. And you can also say more formally, if you'd like to be a little bit more polite, mi scusi, mi scusi, dove il bagno? <laughs> excuse me, where is the washroom? Very polite, mi scusi, dove il bagno? I'm sorry, where's the bathroom? Excuse me, where's the bathroom? You could even just say, scusa, dove il bagno? Very simple. I find myself saying just scusa because it just comes so naturally and it's already so difficult to remember certain things. So just scusa is fine. And then of course you would say, like I taught you in the last video, grazie, thank you. <laughs> also, when you're traveling, you might come across somebody, you might be making conversation. It's really important to also know how to ask what is your name and how to tell someone what is your name. This is a basic, not just for traveling, but a basic conversationalist thing that I just have to throw in there, of course. So if you wanna ask someone, what's your name? You would say, come ti chiami? 
Come ti chiami? What is your name? Come ti chiami? Three words. Come ti chiami? Come ti chiami? And you would respond, mi chiamo your name. Basically, my name is blank. It really just means I'm called <laughs> Lisa, let's say. So, mi chiamo Lisa. And of course, before all of this, you might need to know in general if someone can speak English because it is so important in another country. I know that saying a few basic words is very nice and very polite. It's helpful to get around, but it is super helpful if someone would speak English. So a very polite way is to ask them in Italian. Parla inglese? Inglese is how you say English. So, parla inglese basically means, do you speak English? Parla inglese? Question mark. Parla inglese? Parla, speak inglese. English, do you speak English? Parla inglese? Do you speak English? Parla inglese. And now, if someone is asking you, if you speak Italian, because you might enter and you might say, ciao, buongiorno, mi scusi, dove il bagno? Oh, now you know all these words that I've taught you. Someone might actually ask you, if you speak Italian, you can say, non parlo italiano. I don't speak Italian. Non parlo italiano. Scusa, non parlo italiano. Mi scusi, non parlo italiano. Excuse me, I don't speak Italian. Non Parlo italiano. I don't speak Italian. Very simply, I don't speak Italian. Non parlo italiano. Do you speak English? Parla inglese. So you can see, a little bit simple, but it can get complicated with the O's and the A's. Parla inglese. Non parlo italiano. Because you're speaking about yourself, so you would say, Non parlo. Non parlo italiano. If you're asking someone, parla inglese, you would say parla. When you're talking about yourself, parlo, non parlo italiano. Lastly, if you're trying to tell someone that you don't understand something, non capisco. I don't understand is literally non capisco. Non capisco bene, I don't understand well. So maybe you understand a bit, but you don't understand. But basically, I don't understand. Non capisco. Mi scusi, non capisco. I'm sorry, I don't understand. And that's when you can say, parla inglese. Do you speak English? <laughs> Mi scusi, non capisco. Parla inglese. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Do you speak English? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was quite a basic Italian travel lesson because I just wanted to teach you guys a few basic travel inspired words and a few basic ways how you can put these into phrases or sentences. And hopefully this will help you have a better understanding of the Italian language and make you a little bit more comfortable when it comes to speaking because when it comes to speaking, pronunciation is very important. So maybe if you can hear how I pronounce some words, it will make you more comfortable as well. Once you get used to the pronunciation and musicality of things, you'll hopefully be a lot more comfortable. So guys, I hope this video can help you in your travels. If you do enjoy learning Italian with me and basically learning the basics because I just want to keep things very simple and straightforward for you guys, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber means so much to me. Since I did make this little sheet and wrote down everything, I will make sure to type this out in the description box down below. So I will be typing the words like hotel, is albergo you'll see it in the description bar to just refresh your memory and maybe you could even like screen capture that if you're in your travels and you just want a quick little guide on what to say and how to say things and what certain words mean so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again in my next video ciao mi chiamo luna <laughs> she's going to say ciao mi chiamo luna <laughs> come ti chiami ciao mi chiamo luna Come ti chiami? Luna. Right? Okay, she's being a good girl.